All right, welcome to this tutorial, how to build a SQL query tool using Servoy. It's really a straightforward process. We're going to create a form that has two global fields on it, better known as global variables, and a button. And then we're going to use the move sample to basically write all the code for us to execute the query and show us the results. Let's get started. So here I have my solution, SQL Query Builder. And the first thing that we're going to do is create our global variables. So I'm going to click on the globals to expand it right-click on the variables and say create a variable. So we're going to create two of them. The first one is going to be SQL query and that's going to be of type text. Then for the next one we're just going to go right in here to the globals JS and type the next one var SQL result and we'll say that equals nothing. And now when we click Save or do control S I'm going to do control S right now you'll see that Servoy has gone ahead and created that variable for me. Okay, great. So we've got our two global variables to hold the data that we want. Now let's go back over to our form. The next thing that we're going to do is place those two global variables onto this form. So I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. First we'll put on the SQL query, and I won't place the label since we know what it will be. Now I'm going to drag and resize it a little bit here, make it a little bit bigger so we have room to type our query in. All right, now the next field that we're going to place is the SQL result. Again, I don't need the label on here. And we'll resize this one as well. All right, now we're going to do a couple of things to the fields. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the type or the display type of this field from text field into text area. Text area will let us have more than one line of type in it. And we're also going to change the scroll bars. So we don't want it to ever scroll horizontally, so we'll say never, but we want it to scroll vertically when it needs to. Now for our SQL result, what we're going to do is we're going to change this display type as well, but rather than text field, we're going to change it to HTML area, since our query is going to come back as HTML. And the horizontal and vertical scroll bars are OK there. Next, we'll go ahead and put a button on. So here's our button to go ahead and execute our query. I'm going to come down here to the text property and double click, and I'll name it execute. All right, so I'll call that execute. Now what we'll do is we'll go up here to the on action event of the button, double click it, and create a new form method. This one's going to be called button execute. And we're going to click OK. All right. So now we're all set. We just have to go ahead and write our code now. So I'm going to come over here to my form, and we see I have the button execute. So I'm going to right click to open it in the method editor. All right, here we are. Now we're ready to write our code. So I'm going to press enter. And now because we're dealing with the database directly, we want to scroll down and click on the database manager. Once we do that, we'll see our function that we want to use is called get data set by query. So I'm going to right click it and choose move sample. I'm also going to go up here and close this properties palette or minimize it so we can see the data. And now, as you can see, Servoy has put in all of the sample code for us. And we're going to go through it line by line and take a look at what's happening. So on line 7 there it says max return rows is 10, but our queries may bring back more data than 10, so I'm going to make this 100. And then for our query, we don't really want to use that sample query. We want to use the contents of that global field. So I'm simply just going to delete all of that text. And then I can either go ahead and double click or I can just start typing. So globals dot and now Servoy will give me a pop-up list of all of those global variables. So we're going to say whatever's in that global query go ahead and use that. We're not going to have any arguments on here. Arguments will be covered in a different tutorial. And then now we have this variable called data set that's going to contain the results of our query. So it takes a controller name, the query, 
We're going to have no argument, so we'll make that null or empty. And we're almost done. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to transform that data set into HTML automatically. So we're going to get rid of all this other sample code here. And we're going to go back to our database manager, because what comes back as a result of a get data set by query is this JS data set object. And here, there is a, a function for get as HTML. We can either type it or move code. So I'm going to just say move the code over. And notice that this put the code in for me and gives me all of these optional parameters. So we're going to say, go ahead and transform that data set and get it as HTML. And I'm going to take out all of these placeholders. All right. So again, I'm going to type globals dot, and it will show me. So now we're going to choose SQL result. And that's going to equal that. But we need to put in the actual HTML tags so that Java knows to render it as HTML. So we're going to put in a quoted literal. So I'm going to type single quote. You can use single or double. It doesn't matter. It's always a good practice to go ahead and use well-formed HTML. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. All right, then we add the plus to to concatenate that. I forgot the body. Let's add body. All right, so that's it. So we're going to set the contents of that global variable to HTML plus this thing as HTML. Let's go back to our form, and we'll save that again. All right, so before we open it up in client, let's go up here to our form. And I've based this form on the customers table in the example data connection. So I can click on the selected record to see a list of columns there so I can cheat and see the column names as I type my SQL query. All right, so now we'll go ahead and open up in Smart Client. And we'll do a simple SQL query. Select asterisk from customers. And there we have all of the data in the table. So now we can go ahead and refine it. We can say select company name from customers. And there you have your basic SQL query tool in under 10 minutes using Servoy 4. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.